The eleventh house is one of the most important house of horoscope. Why? Because it indicates fulfillment of wishes and desires. As they say, if the end is good, everything is good. So is with the eleventh house. Because it indicates fulfillment of wishes and desires, if you have any planet in 11th house, specifically if you have a strong planet in 11th house, then it does indicate that all your wishes and desires will be fulfilled. Right? So this is very, very important. For example, you say if you have sun in 11th house, then all your wishes and desires related to name, fame, prestige, owner, awards, recognition will be fulfilled for sure. Not only this, it also gives you very good health. Generally, sun in the 11th house gives good longevity, good health as well. It makes you fortunate also. I have seen that despite all other combinations, 80% of the time, if sun in the 11th house is not afflicted, person is very fortunate also. Moon in the 11th house gives you a lot of riches, makes you very fortunate. Generally, unexpected gain of wealth is also there. And most importantly, you, all your wishes and desires related to, you know, means of enjoyment, conveniences, luxuries, name, fame, status will be fulfilled. There will be multiple properties and vehicles that you will have and great riches it gives, as I have already told you, it makes you very fortunate. Most importantly, you know, great gain of Ancestral property is also indicated with moon in the 11th house and moon in the 11th house also indicates good longevity and very good health as well. If there is Mars in the 11th house, then you should understand that none of your efforts will go for waste. All your efforts will give a result. Any hard work that you do, you just need to dedicatedly work on something and then you can surpass even the legend in any field that you wish to do. It gives you great position in life, much name, fame, status, respect, great support from people and specifically you will enjoy very high status in your professional life. You will greatly benefit from multiple investments also that you will do. You will be very valorous and courageous. No enemy will be able to stand in front of you. You will be very successful in life specifically if you listen to your elders then Specifically, it will give you great success in profession. It gives one of the top positions to the native person is very successful in competition, litigation and fights. They can even earn a great deal of money out of it if there is Mars in 11th house. Mercury in 11th house makes you very good in speaking. I have often seen that these people, that these people can get disinterested in earning money and because of which they can take decisions in their profession which can be self-detrimental. But along with that, it makes you intellectual, it makes you honored, celebrated and supported by people and generally gives all the luxuries, happiness and means of conveniences in life that one can ask for. It also gives the native multiple properties and vehicles. One is blessed in having good amount of ancestral property and most importantly, Mercury in the 11th house does indicate that with the intelligence and Wisdom, you can achieve anything in life. Jupiter in the 11th house, if the person is eldest in family, then it is good. If the person is youngest in family, then if the person is younger or somewhere a middle sibling, then in that particular scenario, Jupiter in the 11th house, you know, like makes the person underdog. The achievement is always either 80 to 85%, not more than that. And life can be troubled. But apart from that, all the wishes and desires in the life is fulfilled, but you have to make sure you don't have bad intention towards anyone. Otherwise, it can greatly backfire you. All the wishes and desires related to respect children, having followers, gain of status and position is fulfilled. The person is respected, awarded, celebrated. People look at him. The person is also fortunate and specifically Jupiter in the 11th house is a very good combination for the person being rich and financially prosperous. But all these results I have seen in maximum when the person is the eldest child and not in other cases, eldest child or only child, 
Jupiter in the 11th house gives you that. Venus in the 11th house, all the means of convenience, enjoyment, luxury, happiness that one can ask for, one will have. You will have a life of affluence. You will have good resources. People will support you specifically after marriage. You will greatly, uh, you know, you will be greatly very, very successful in your life. Not only that, people aspire to become like you and you will be one of the most prominent persons in the society where you are born in, where you are living. Coming to Saturn in the 11th house, I have seen up to age of 38 to 45 depending on like the best Saturn up to the age of 38 person is struggling. Problematic Saturn up to the age of 48, 47 one is struggling. Right? Things that are happening in life, changes that are positive changes that are happening in life may not be permanent and there can be delays in fulfillment of wishes and desires and generally there are problems related to stability of life stability of financial income and person may have to struggle multiple times, have to compromise in multiple things. Specifically, if this result is greatly negative, if the person does bad to their life partner in any way. But other than that, later in life, the person become respected, have good support of people, have good conveniences, have uh, multiple servants to serve them. Person is a leader and people look after him. Enjoys good status in position. Most importantly, this gives long life. This generally makes you disease free. And specifically in this combination, if the person does good investments as per their horoscope, then one is very successful. Rahu in the 11th house, I have seen person is greatly very successful financially. The native is successful. He have good friend circle. Many people come to support. Good name, fame, status, recognition. Rahu in 11th house provides. Along with that, the person have good national, international contacts. And it is because of the support of people and family member that one succeeds in life and there is nothing that the person wants and he cannot have, though I will not say that it is a complete life because the person is very much dedicated towards one area only, you say, regarding marriage only or regarding profession only, but in whichever area they are focused in, they are highly successful in that particular area. Ketu in the 11th house, one earns money even by mistake. Generally, I have seen one earns money through unconventional sources such as you know, helping someone pass a level of game or through online friendships, etc. One can have unexpected income as well. These people, if they invest in stock market, they initially get good results, but in long run, it is not good. Good company is there. The person gets good intuition and if they listen to themselves and if they listen to their inner voice, they are highly successful also. In things related to teaching, they do well. They have name, fame and prestige and most importantly with Ketu in the 11th house, your position in life is as such that no one can shake your position. You are not insecure at all. So these are the general result of planets in the 11th house and you know with taking other significations of the 11th house, these significations can be further, you know, more detailed, more significations can be added to it. But more or less, these are the results for planets in the 11th house. Now, important thing what I was telling you is that planet in 11th house indicates fulfillment of wishes and desires. See, not having any planet in 11th house or any house for that matter does indicate that, you see, because planets are powerhouse. So when you are having planet in a particular house, that power is activated in your chart, right? Only if you have planet in 11th house, a great wish and desire is fulfilled in your life. In this particular sense, you say anyone born in a middle class family or a poor family will want to become rich. It will be desire for any such person. Now, only when you have a planet in 11th house or a strong planet aspecting the 11th house, you will be able to fulfill this desire of yours. So that everyone in the society and everyone around you will find, you know, will recognize you as a successful person because you have been able to fulfill the desire which everyone from the society had. 
So for this particular reason, I believe that 11th house is a very good house. Provided the fact that you have a strong planet in 11th house or a strong planet expecting 11th house, then your success no one can stop. And at least financial difficulties are not there. I will not say that it will make you very rich as such. But whatever is your necessity and whatever you want for your enjoyment, these things you will have in life, that is very certain. If you are having no planet in the 11th house, that is good. I cannot say that you cannot fulfill your wishes and desires. Certainly you can because you will have to check the 11th Lord as well. But not having planet in 11th house, then I don't see person having any such great desire, which is, you know, something which person will find very exceptional, right? For example, you say, if you are not having any planet in 11th house, then it is your wish to have a good marital life. Now having a good marital life is common or it is not something very, very great or it is not something that everyone wants as such. Because you see, 70-80% people, like 30-40% people already have it. Few those who don't have it, they are okay. Like, you know, some people are okay that, that they understand that there have to be some compromises in marriage and all such things. So when there is no planet in 11th house, no planet influencing the 11th house, I have seen that generally person don't have a very great wish or desire as such, which can mean two things. Otherwise, if the horoscope is good, person is already blessed with multiple things. So he does not want much. He is self-satisfied because... 11th house's wishes and desires, it also indicates that you have to be in a position where you will have a lot of wishes and desires, does indicate an humble upbringing and all of these things, does indicate that you are not endowed with everything, you will have to work towards it because you are having this particular combination, right? So no planet influencing the 11th house should not be interpreted as that the person is not successful. In an otherwise good horoscope, it should indicate that person is already having a lot person is already having a lot of things or the person have the satisfaction tendency, right? Person is not very ambitious. In this particular regard, a very strong 11th house also indicates that person is very ambitious and he is someone who is not very easily satisfied. After he achieves one thing, he will have a new wish and desire in his mind, right? So in this particular sense, 11th house also indicates greed and desire. Right. So this is to be understood in this particular way. And most importantly, if there is a weak planet or if there is an afflicted planet in 11th house, in case of weak planet, the wishes and desires related to planet may be fulfilled, but not completely. Now, because these wishes and desires related to this planet are not completely fulfilled, it can leave the person in a state of dissatisfaction, dejection. The person may work hard towards it, but may not be ultimately successful. Owing to this particular reason, the person having a great desire related to anything, whatever it is that is dependent on the significations of planets. And just in the starting of the video, I have told you, you know, what these planets will indicate, what different planets will indicate in the 11th house. With a weak planet in the 11th house, it may indicate that all the wishes and first of all, planet in the 11th house, person have wish and desire related to the planet, say Venus, wish and desire related to relationships, marriage. The person is having, sun is there, wishes and desires related to name, fame, prestige, owner, person is having. This planet is powerful. These wishes and desires are, you know, fulfilled person is successful, can live, like because he's having a planet in the 11th house, he will not live a contented life, but he will be successful. In the particular case, when you say the sun is weak, partially, Fulfillment of wishes and desires related to sun, name, fame, prestige, owner can be fulfilled, but it is not completely fulfilled. It leaves something to be achieved in the life of the person, which can give great dissatisfaction. And this can be the reason for next birth, because as per Hindu Dharma, you will keep on thinking about those things that you have not completely achieved and it will compel you to take birth again. So in this particular scenario, a proper analysis of 11th house, specifically weak planets in the 11th house, weak planets influencing the 11th house by aspect or through placement in the same Rashi in Navamsh is also very important when we are going to analyze the next life, right? Based on the unfulfilled wishes of this life and what the person can be in next life. In the case of afflicted planet in the 11th house, I don't say that wishes and desires are not fulfilled the way 
like wishes and desires are not fulfilled but it is not fulfilled in the way one wants it to get fulfilled for example if there is an afflicted venus in 11th house in that particular scenario one want a beautiful spouse that wish and desire will be fulfilled but because this venus is afflicted the marital life with this beautiful spouse will not be good will not be amicable so in this particular sense though wishes and desires are fulfilled but the person is not very happy with the fulfillment of desire and there is you know there is something left which is yet to be desired this gives the person a dissatisfactory life and also in the previous stone you can also analyze it to see you know what will be the unfulfilled desire of this life which will cause the next birth so this way the analysis should be done in these cases when you have a weak planet influencing the 11th house you will have to strengthen the planet as per the karma correction video and if you are having an afflicted planet in the 11th house then you will have to do the mantra related to planet or worship the deity related to planet in the case of afflicted planet pacification have to be done that is to be done by mantra chanting of the planet or worshiping deity doing mantra chanting of the deity related to the planet in the case of a weak planet then karma correction video you can follow and then you can do remedies right so in this manner in this way 11th house talks about wishes and desires of this life success in life fulfillment of wishes and desires greed and we'll also talk about what can be the reason of birth in next life right so for this particular reason 11th house is very important to be analyzed one thing is there a standard principle of vedic astrology that there is no planet is bad in 11th house so more or less in 10th house and 11th house no planet is bad even debilitated planet even bad planets are good in these houses mean to say in their dasha antar dasha results are good related to the houses that these planets own do they always give good result i will say eventually they give good result but throughout the life they give good result is not the case for example you say ninth lord is going into 11th house eventually the person will be fortunate eventually the person will be lucky but he is lucky throughout the life that i cannot say but it is very certain that any planet situated in 10th house and 11th house in their dasha gives 100% good result they are not bad provided the fact that you apply the right dasha and vimshottri is not always the right dasha so even debilitated planet in 10th house and 11th house are good right and give good result indicates fulfillment of wishes and desires in fact debilitated planets in 10th house and 11th house indicates great success in the dasha antar dasha of these planets however related to houses lauded by these planets some type of shortcomings some type of miseries will be there but at least in dasha antar dasha they are very good the problem is afflicted planet combust planet planet going in a planetary war in 10th house and 11th house specifically our topic in 11th house this gives partial fulfillment of desire and that fulfillment of desire is still in a way which is not acceptable at all it leaves a lot to be desired on the part of the native and until and unless the native mindfully practices satisfaction and believe in the theory of karma related to those matters of life until and unless one submits themselves to god related to those areas of life the freedom from the chain of karma and action and repercussion cannot be avoided at all so if you are having an afflicted planet in 11th house then you know like practice satisfaction in areas related to that planet and believe in the concept that live the concept of whatever happens happens for good and do not do things you know do not do hasty things related to these planets whichever is afflicted in the 11th house because otherwise it will create problem and you know will lead you into a situation where there can be a lot of dissatisfaction which can haunt you throughout the life so this is something that you have to be careful about very you have to be very very careful about now because 11th house indicate gains planet in the 11th house if you are having any planet in 11th house it is always good to choose profession related to that planet i always say in my videos there are two approaches to it what will be my profession what should be my profession 
if there is bad combinations in horoscope, if there are combinations which indicate person will be unsuccessful in life, then it is very natural that you will automatically choose profession related to the planet who are bad in your horoscope, lording bad houses. You will choose lording bad houses. That means as you progress in this profession, bad result related to the houses owned by the planet will automatically get activated. Then this, you know, secondary activation I have seen working a lot. For example, you say someone is having their Sixth Lord and fourth house, suppose. Now, sixth Lord and fourth house is not a very good combination. If other combinations and horoscope are good, these combinations will remain dormant. But if you take loan to purchase property vehicle, this combination will activate. And because of the activation of this particular combination, other bad results related to fourth house, the dissatisfaction, mental tension, problem with mother, and a problems in home and all of these things will also get activated. Right. So this is something that one have to be very careful about. And as I was talking about, if you are choosing profession related to a planet who is Lord of bad houses, then in that particular scenario, you should also understand that if you are engaged, because the world knows you for your profession, right? You know me as an astrologer. We also know people as per their profession, even our friends, as soon as we leave school and college, we also know them by their professions only. Right. So if you choose profession related to a planet who is lording bad houses, those bad house, those bad houses will also be activated. There is nothing bad into it, but astrology connects you to higher consciousness, gives you the eyes of light, which makes you see many things which others cannot. Right. So keeping that in mind, you have to acknowledge that as you choose profession related to this planet, these bad results of these houses will also be activated. And you have to be very careful not to engage with those bad results or not to get into lure of those bad results. For example, if you choose profession related to the sixth Lord, it is a bit natural that competitions, enmity, jealousy will come into your life. And you have to make sure not to engage with competition, enmity and jealousy. Otherwise, it will be very problematic. Another thing is if you choose profession related to a weak or afflicted planet, if you choose profession related to a weak planet in that particular scenario, because the planet is weak, you will not be able to progress much in the profession. Now, astrology you are doing so that you can use more of your free will, make wise decisions in life. That's why great astrologers have said that astrologers, you know, follow planets. They do not obey planets. World obey planets. Astrologers follow planets, right? Right. So if you choose profession related to weak planet, it will make the progress difficult. It will make your condition weak. So profession related to weak planet in my experience, you should also not be chosen. And if you choose profession related to an afflicted planet, then in that particular scenario, because the planet is afflicted as you progress in the profession, the planet who is afflicting the main planet, the result of that planet will also be activated and because of that afflictions, health problems, personal life problems, marital life problems, not being able to pay attention to children's and other family members, etc. will also get activated. So when it comes to what profession person will do, you can check the level of the horoscope. If it is indicated that person will be unsuccessful, it is a bit natural that he will choose a profession of a planet who is weak. If there is a combination in horoscope which indicates that the native will be troubled, it is a bit natural that he will choose a profession of a planet who is afflicted by other planets. If the horoscope indicates that the person will be constantly disturbed, then it is a bit natural that he will choose a combination related to a planet who lots bad houses. Combination for being constantly disturbed is Lagna Lord going into bad houses afflicted by malefics. Right? Combination for being unsuccessful will be a weak Lagna Lord, weak 10th Lord, weak or afflicted planet in Lagna or 10th house. Right. Combination of combination of having life of difficulties is Lagna Lord being in weak Rashi and afflicted anywhere in the horoscope. So as per that, the prediction should be made. But why you are learning astrology, why you are coming to an astrologer to take better control of your life, right? To make it better, to make wise decisions, to have more free will, to change your life as per your wishes and desires, at least to the extent possible.
so a good consultant i think should not focus on what will be the profession of native but will focus on what should be the profession of native now alternatively going from what i have explained to you if you choose profession related to a powerful planet it will indicate that you gain power status name fame recognition in life if you choose profession related to healthy planet opposite of afflict afflicted planet is a healthy planet if you choose a profession of a healthy planet who is influenced by benefics then in that particular scenario it will indicate that as you progress in profession other good things in your life will also happen birth of child acquisition of new property trade gain of social name fame status social contact support from people these things will also activate right so a profession should be chosen accordingly that is my advice and whenever i do consultation i recommend professions to people based on this particular criteria only in this particular regard because we are talking of the 11th house every planet in 11th house is beneficial i just told you so keeping that in mind if you have a planet in 11th house which is not weak neither afflicted and if you happen to choose profession related to that planet that you should do if you choose profession related to that planet because 11th house gives gains fulfillment of wishes and desires and i have also explained it to indicate i have also explained it elaborated it to indicate success in horoscope if you are having a planet in 11th house who is not weak or afflicted you should choose the profession related to that planet and that planet will make sure that your wishes and desires are fulfilled and you are successful in life right so this should be done and all those if any person is having a planet in 11th house that is good and if the person have chosen the profession related to that planet you see how is their life specifically in the life of those people who were doing something else then switched to the profession of the planet who is situated in second house or 11th house and how their life have changed so if you have having any planet in 11th house choose a profession related to that planet and because 11th house indicate income if you have a strong planet in 11th house then in that particular scenario not talking of riches or the money that you are having in bank but a strong planet in 11th house makes sure that you have good income having good income means whatever are your necessities that will be fulfilled and even you will have enough money to pursue your wishes and desires also generally planet in 11th house indicates a luxurious life life full of achievements and generally this person lives a life which other people from his society friend circle aspires to have so in this particular scenario 11th house is very very good when afflicted and weak planets are in 11th house in that particular scenario one can get these things but because of his bad decisions one can lose it also so when you have a weak or afflicted planet in the 11th house you have to focus more on how to sustain things that you have got and how to expand it when you are having a powerful planet you don't have to think much about it you just have to follow the planet it will automatically give you everything but in the case of weak and afflicted planet sustenance of what you have got and how to do the right karmas how to take the right decisions to expand it and make it even more better should be your focus and in this particular way if you focus on these things you will be more fortunate lucky and successful in your life right so this is something that have to be you know very judiciously seen in our horoscope right not only that regarding what are the professions related to planet that you should choose if there is a planet in the 11th house in my video related to 10th house i have explained profession related to every planet and every house you should refer to that and choose the profession accordingly now other than that 11th house is also known by the name of upant upant means pen ultimate pen ultimate is condition just before death so many a times you see people just before death are bedridden or are in a very bad pathetic condition in their old age this is also seen with respect to 11th house if you have a powerful planet in 11th house then generally it translates into person even before death is hell and hail and healthy is in a good condition is able to talk walk and do his things 
on the other hand weak planet in the 11th house does indicate that before you know in old age there will be weakness in the native and he will not be able to do multiple things and afflicted planet in the 11th house does indicate that person can be afflicted by diseases and other troubles in his old age so if you have to check about the conditions in your old age what things are going to give you happiness and miseries a uh, analysis of 11th house with respect to which planets are giving good result as per the rashi in the 11th house as per placement and aspect regarding aspect of planet over houses if the aspecting planet is friendly to the house lord it is a good aspect if the aspecting planet is inimical to house lord it is a bad aspect bad aspect indicates challenges good aspect indicates comforts these are things that you have to keep in mind and to find the condition just before death and find conditions of the native in old age specifically after the age of 60 65 a uh, in depth and detailed analysis of 11th house should also be done with respect to the principles that i have just told you so this you should do along with that 11th house is also known by the name of bhava now bhava i believe it means to say see there are some people who eventually make it no matter how delayed it is no matter how late it is they eventually make it they eventually become successful it is a strong planet in 11th house the planet can be strong by any means exaltation mul trikon vargottam retrogression nearing their you know digbal houses and all of that but if there is a powerful strong or a healthy planet in 11th house it will make sure that no matter how much delays etc are there eventually there will be good result the result that people attribute to saturn that saturn delays but not denies i think it is wrongly attributed to saturn saturn can deny as well it is a result that should be attributed to 11th house that if you have a good strong or healthy planet in 11th house then it can delay but it will not deny deny eventually you will have the result on the other hand when there are weak and afflicted planets in the 11th house in that particular scenario related to the significations of the planet natural signification house lordship based signification of the planet there can be denial as well person should be ready for results related to that planet and be very careful in dealing with things related to that planet as there can be denials and struggles related to that planet only taking proper conscious decision will help right and other things remedies etc may not directly work over the planet who is situated in the 11th house so a careful decision making based on the natural and house lordship based significations of the planet in the 11th house specifically the planets who are weak and afflicted should be done along with that one more thing is there awards owners recognition you know some people are awarded owned from where do you see it it is seen with respect to 11th house any type of award owner accolade or respect from the society respect from the people is seen with respect to 11th house now this award owner is also related to fame you see someone who is awarded will also be famous or will become famous after the awards right so if you have a strong and powerful planet in 11th house in the dasha antar dasha of that planet all the results that i am telling you in this particular uh, set of videos these results will happen in dasha antar dasha most important right result of planet is there activated throughout the life most prominently felt in the dasha antar dasha of planet right this is basic funda of astrology i think all of you know it right so in the dasha antar dasha of a strong healthy powerful planet in 11th house awards recognition owner will come to the native the native will be successful i told you and there will be gain of name fame prestige owner on the other hand we can afflicted planet in the 11th house there can be defamation wrong blemishes related to that particular planet so one should be careful in these areas for example an afflicted venus in the 11th house does indicate then you can be falsely accused of bad sexual conduct bad behavior right so you should be careful about about it careful as in whenever you deal with people of opposite gender do it in public and don't do things which can you know which can lead you to a trap later on right so precaution is needed powerful planet in the dasha antar dasha of the planet awards recognitions owners gain of name fame status will be there 
and specifically related to the natural significations of the planet and related to the house significations of the planet person will be well known person will be famous because of achieving things in that particular area person will be famous as a very fortunate person in that particular field person will be famous as someone blessed related to that area of life so in that particular scenario 11th house indicates blessings also you see 11th house is the house of wealth wealth is lakshmi lakshmi is known as sri and sri means blessings also right so a strong powerful planet in the 11th house indicates you are blessed with the significations of that planet and this is very very good right specifically timing this awards owners etc should be done with respect to the 11th house most importantly though clothes are seen with respect to fourth house also but generally in a intellectual circle when you are respected or awarded something clothes uttriya vastra that they put on the neck is also given right so wearing of good clothes luxury clothes and all of these things are also indicated from the 11th house see one have money one can purchase home property vehicle that is there but if one is really living a rich and influential life they will wear good clothes also right it will be reflected right into that as well so great riches are indicated from the 11th house clothes etc are indicated from the 11th house looking good wearing good clothes these are indicated from the 11th house also indicated from the 4th house but 4th house is basic clothing 11th house is luxurious superior clothing right so these things are also indicated from the 11th house if someone wears well dress as well if someone looks very attractive because of the type of things they wear if someone have a very luxurious outlook very luxurious clothes and ornaments they are wearing it is a good effect of 11th house probably they are going through the shantra the shafa planet in 11th house or the 11th house is very powerful in this particular way using these traits rectification of horoscope is also done whenever we are dubious about the ascendant such traits from different houses should be used to rectify the horoscope to see whether the horoscope belongs to this person or not for this particular reason i always say that just a glimpse of a native is enough to rectify the horoscope and for this particular reason only in every consultation i ask for two photos of the native one close up of the face and one complete body right so that i can rectify the horoscope in the case i feel there is some error in it this particular thing now you see if you don't have a good 11th house it means that your dressing sense may not be good you can wear some you know torn clothes or dirty clothes or these type of clothes you can wear that is okay this is a predictive part but what more you should understand from this is because 11th house indicates how you appear apparels and clothes etc if you wear clean clothes if you wear good clothes if you you know like if you take bath properly and be ready and presentable every day then you will be eventually doing remedy for your 11th house also or will be strengthening your 11th house as well which over time will make you successful will give you riches opulence affluence and all of these things this is the particular reason i have generally seen that those who use perfume every day they are as compared to their other family members friends etc they are more happy more successful have done more achievements in life why because you use perfume to become more presentable right so in this particular way this signification of fifth house uh, sorry this signification of 11th house of dressing well wearing good clothes looking presentable should be used to your benefit and to strengthen the 11th house or to activate the 11th house these these remedies of wearing good clothes uh, you know becoming presentable and becoming fashionable this should be used properly to your benefit one more thing is there 11th house being 11th house also indicates you know children of spouse not yours as such so generally sometimes what happens that some people get married to someone who have children from previous marriage this is indicated from 11th house also if the 7th and 11th are connected anyhow this can be a positive or a negative connection depending on how you are taking it 
for example if the person really wants children if the person have not had children from his own marriage and he wants children right in that scenario positive connection will indicate that his spouse may have children from you know from other marriage and that children the couple can take care of together and it will be good it can be negatively seen also but the basic point is that children's from other marriage or children's from outside marriage is also seen with respect to 11th house children outside marriage as in after having extramarital affair is negative influence over the 11th house right gain of child as in if you desired to have it is a positive connection of 11th house with 7th house specifically when the 11th house is very powerful right so basic point is that if you want children 11th house is powerful it will give you fulfillment of wishes and desires and this if you are not able to have it your spouse will have it right in a good sense when you are wanting it or in a bad sense when you are not wanting it and it includes sexual infidelity also this particular thing is there and once again because i have just told that 11th house also indicates children's of the spouse if like for medical purpose if we are analyzing a horoscope to see that if the that the couple is not able to produce a child and this is because of the native or because of their life partner you can do an analysis between 5th house and 11th house and whichever house is more afflicted the problem is in the native if the 5th house is more afflicted in male horoscope and 9th house is more afflicted in female horoscope then it is the native who is having problem that's why they are not able to have children and if the 11th house is afflicted in the horoscope then it is the spouse because of whom one is not able to have a child so in this way multiple significations are there of the 11th house which can be judged for the benefit of uh, better analysis major of which i have highlighted and provided the fact that you listen to my video patiently take notes and think over the words that i have used and why i have used it and what can be other implications of saying this in a broader perspective you will be able to understand 11th house completely i have done my best best if you are looking for predictions from my channel i don't do predictions on youtube i do predictions and consultation right my purpose is of teaching so your approach should be you know take what i have told and think why i have told that because my purpose is teaching my purpose is not making prediction right so the fundamental the understanding the logic behind it the philosophy right the basic point have to be understood this way you will benefit it you know i make video for my course students right general things related to you know their betterment that i say on my youtube and they greatly benefit from it they send me messages sir we have seen this recent video of yours and it have opened a new dimensions for us and we have took out this technique from it tested it on horoscopes it is working very well because it is educational if you are looking for predictions into it it will not serve the purpose i am telling you very directly very clearly right so this was related to 11th house and i believe that you will take note of it try to understand the things and will apply it in your horoscopic analysis and will and it will help you right if it does so i will consider myself very fortunate